fabulous. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl to maybe Leah, the also fabulous one once again. So today's video is something spooky. You guys know it's October, it's Halloween season. I've been seeing Halloween makeup tutorials everywhere on YouTube, on Instagram, and I decided I had to jump on this train, especially because SFX makeup is something that I'm also passionate about, but I don't get to do it as much because we don't really have like an SFX or um, Halloween culture over here in Nigeria where I'm from like nobody gives a mm about Halloween over here it's just like slowly catching on you see some people do Halloween parties and half the time you go there everybody's just looking normal nobody even does like this kind of makeup and all that so a lot of us don't really really care about it over here but because it's an expression of art it's so artistic it's therapeutic for me I don't care I had to do this tutorial so first of all I have to say if you guys found my intro kind of spooky or scary please give this video a thumbs up let me know if you made like if you if you like you know like made you feel a little bit scared that's like cuz that's my aim <laughs> the funny thing is even it made me scared like after I posted that the one minute clip of this tutorial on my Instagram I was about to go to bed that night and I just I watched the video once again and you guys won't believe that I was legit scared I was scared and to think that that was me in the video and i was scared by my own self so i'm so proud of myself <laughs> for pulling it off so first of all i have to say um um i got everything that i used in this video all the sfx products from a store here and it, i think it's the first one i store i know that sell special effects makeup in nigeria as a whole like before this store came about these things are very easy, uh, difficult to find you basically have to order them from you know outside the country so um, I'm gonna, just gonna leave their link up um, I think they have a website they're also on Instagram so if just in case you want to purchase any of that stuff you can get it from there so the first thing that I did was to just apply some liquid latex this is the Graftobian liquid latex I just I'm actually forming the mouth of the clown so i did that then i put cotton wool over it and then i used my my hand dryer to dry then i put another layer of the latex and the cotton wool and then i dried it so that's two layers you guys can see over there then i widened the mouth you could, you could have seen me peeling it off my skin i widened it then applied another layer of latex and cotton wool inside because the inner part is going to serve as the base where i'm going to attach my teeth and that is the teeth that i'm preparing as you guys can see over there so that teeth actually was uh, made up made out of plastic i got some plastic bottles that i have in the house and i like use my scissors to cut them into those triangular shapes usually because i couldn't afford to get the teeth that um that normally i could have i should have used so i had to basically diy my way all through you know so i just what i did with the plastic was i just i painted the plastic with white nail polish so that's what gave them that color um yeah then i bent them a bit dipped it in latex dipped the base of the plastic in latex wrapped it in cotton wool dipped it in latex again and then i stuck it to underneath the lip as you guys already saw so now i'm going into um the smithy's makeup aqua face and body paints and i'm just taking the black color there to paint the inner part of the mouth to give the illusion of the mouth being wide open and being deep so now you i'm using the small brush that came with the smithy's uh, body paint and i'm just using that to apply some of the red color from the body paint all around the lips because the clown basically eats little children so definitely there has to be blood all over my mouth because i just ate a little child called georgie i learned him with a balloon if you haven't seen the movie you probably should go see it so now i'm just outlining my mouth the area that i want to be in my mouth and i'm using an eyeliner brush just to give me that defined line and i'm using this um i'm doing this using the um body paints the black body paint you can also use this um use a gel black gel liner if you don't have like this black body paint that i used so i'm just covering up the entire um part because this is this is actually my lips the black part is supposed to be my lips while the teeth and then the inner part is like the gaping mouth that's wide open so now i'm painting on my clown nose taking the red um body paint and now for my brows this is the part where a lot of people use the glue stick but i didn't have the glue stick it wasn't available at the sfx store where i got all the other stuff so i'm just improvising here and luckily for me i don't really have a lot of brow hairs so i just used a clear brow gel from kimani cosmetics and then i just used it to slick my brows down and then i used 
like the white powder from my royal makeup powder palette to just like you know set it then i'm taking the white face paint again from the smithy's fx fx makeup body paint and just outlining around the lips before i begin to paint the rest of my face the clown white that everybody knows like clowns always have you know the white face but i have a question though why is it that children tend to be always scared of clowns yet you see clowns at every children's party i will never understand <laughs> okay this is off point let me get back to the video so i'm just painting my face all around white excluding my eye area now make sure the paint gets to your hairline your ears your neck you know because you want to be like an actual believable clown so the next thing that I'm doing is going to a random um, matte eyeshadow palette. I don't think that has any name on it or it's clean, but that palette is like so pigmented. I love that palette. So I'm just taking that purple and just like um, using a blending brush to apply it all around my eyes to give that sunken look, like that look that makes it be like, oh, I never sleep at night. I haven't slept for years. And I'm taking a gray shade to place directly on the eyelid and below it. Then now to make the, lack, the eyes look a little bit mysterious and darker and more evil, I'm going in with, with, with a pointy blending brush and applying black just at the base, the lower lash line, just smoking it out. And I'm taking red from that same Smithy's body paint with an eyeliner brush to just line my eyes to make to make myself look really evil and yeah like when you line your eyes with red you just look evil so i'm using that same red liner to draw the clown markings on the eye area then now i'm going in with some blood paste is the graftobian blood paste to just sprinkle all, all around my lips and, and my teeth because yeah just like i said i eat children then for my hair i colored my hair using a hair paint from Heidi Rose and this is the finished look my darlings hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one bye